content provided in this dental reviewer is if for educational and informational purposes only. It is not affiliated with, endorsed by, or officially recognized by the Professional Regulation Commission, PRC, the Board of Dentistry, or any official licensing body in the Philippines. All questions, explanations, and materials in this reviewer are generated using ChatGPT and are based on general dental knowledge, textbooks, and publicly available resources. This reviewer does not contain actual board exam questions and should not be considered a guaranteed way to pass the dentistry, dental technology, or dental hygiene board examinations in the Philippines. While we strive for accuracy, we encourage viewers to consult official references, textbooks, and review centers for comprehensive preparation. The creator of this content is not responsible for any errors, omissions, or exam outcomes based on the use of this reviewer. By watching and using this material, you acknowledge that it is intended as a study aid and not as a substitute for professional education, training, or official review courses. Oral Physiology. Mock Exam Reviewer Point 1 to 50 Part 1 1. Which of the following is not a component of the masticatory apparatus? A. Teeth B. Tongue C. Temporomandibular joint D. Liver Answer. D. Liver 2. The primary function of the temporomandibular joint, TMJ, is to A. Facilitate swallowing B. Enable jaw movements for mastication and speech C. Support the nasal cavity D. Connect the hyoid bone to the skull Answer B. Enable jaw movements for mastication and speech What type of movement occurs when the mandible moves forward, as in protrusion? A. Rotation Translation C. Elevation D. Depression Answer. B. Translation. For which of the following muscles is not involved in mastication? A. Mass eater. B. Temporalis. C. Medial pterygoid. D. Sternocleidomastoid. D. Sternocleidomastoid. 5. The neuromuscular control of mastication is primarily regulated by which cranial nerve? Facial nerve CN7. B. Trigeminal nerve CNV. C. Hypoglossal nerve CN12. D. Glossopharyngeal nerve CN Einken. Answer B. Trigeminal nerve six. Which phase, which phase of swallowing deglutition is voluntary? A. Oral phase. B. Pharyngeal phase. C. Esophageal phase. D. All phases are involuntary. Oral phase. 7. The minor function of the oral cavity related to respiration is to a. Warm and humidify inhaled air. B. Filter toxins from the bloodstream. C. Produce digestive enzymes. D. Maintain electrolyte balance. Answer. A. Warm and humidify inhaled air. 8. The main function of saliva in mastication is to A. Break down proteins. B. Lubricate and soften food for swallowing. C. Absorb nutrients. D. Prevent enamel wear. B. Lubricate and soften food for swallowing. 9. The primary determinant of the physiologic eruption of teeth is A. Salivary secretion B. Bone resorption and deposition C. Blood circulation in the pulp D. Gingival health Bone resorption and deposition 10. Which phase of tooth eruption occurs before the tooth emerges into the oral cavity? A. Pre-eruptive phase B. Eruptive phase C. Post-eruptive phase D. Passive eruption Answer A. Pre-eruptive phase 11. The movement of a tooth to compensate for occlusal wear is part of A. Pre-eruptive movement B. Eruptive movement C. Post-eruptive movement D. Passive eruption Answer C. Post-eruptive movement. 12. Which of the following is not a function of the periodontal ligament during eruption? A. Cushioning occlusal forces. B. Providing sensory innervation. C. Producing dentin. D. Assisting in tooth movement. C. Producing dentin. 13. Resorption of primary teeth is primarily caused by A. Enamel erosion. B. Osteoclast activity. C. Dental caries. D. Excessive fluoride exposure. To class activity. 14. The most common cause of delayed tooth eruption is A. Premature birth. B. Nutritional deficiency. C. Trauma. D. Endocrine disorders. 
D. Endocrine disorders. 15. The anterior teeth erupt before the posterior teeth in A. Primary dentition B. Mixed dentition C. Permanent dentition D. Supernumerary dentition Answer A. Primary dentition 16. The physiological spacing between primary anterior teeth is known as A. Primate spaces B. Leeway spaces C. Flush terminal plane D. Mesial step a. Primate spaces 17. What is the typical eruption sequence of primary teeth? A. Central incisors, first molars, canines, lateral incisors, second molars B. Central incisors, lateral incisors, first molars, canines, second molars C. First molars, canines, central incisors, lateral incisors, second molars D. Canines, first molars, lateral incisors, central incisors, second molars Answer B. Central incisors, lateral incisors, first molars, canines, second molars. 18. The flush terminal plane in primary dentition usually leads to which occlusion in permanent dentition? A. Class 1B, Class 2C, Class 3, D. Open bite. Answer Class 1. 19. An excessive mesial step in primary dentition can result in A. Class 1 occlusion, B. Class 2 occlusion, C. Class 3 occlusion, D. Deep bite. C. Class 3 occlusion. 20. What condition may prevent the exfoliation of a primary tooth? A. Hypersemantosis, B. Lack of successor tooth, C. Severe gingivitis, D. Enamel hypoplasia. B. Lack of successor tooth. 21 and 21. Which structure is responsible for passive eruption? A. Cementum. B. Gingiva. C. Pulp. D. Alveolar bone. Answer. Gingiva. 22. The loss of tooth structure due to normal function is called A. Abrasion. B. Attrition. C. Erosion. D. Resorption. Answer. B. Attrition. A 23. Which dental tissue is most resistant to resorption? A. Enamel. B. Dentin. C. Cementum. D. Pulp. A. A. Enamel. Function of the soft palate during swallowing is to A. Push food into the stomach. B. Close off the nasal cavity. C. Protect the larynx from food entry. D. Stimulate saliva production. Answer B. Close off the nasal cavity. 25. The first primary tooth to erupt is usually the A. Maxillary central incisor, B. Mandibular central incisor, C. Maxillary first molar, D. Mandibular first molar. Answer B. Mandibular central incisor. 26. During which phase of eruption does the tooth move within the developing alveolar bone? A. Pre eruptive phase. B. Eruptive phase. C. Post eruptive phase. D. Passive eruption. Answer A. Pre eruptive phase. 27. The movement of a tooth through the alveolar bone and soft tissues to reach its functional position in the oral cavity is called A. Pre eruptive movement. B. Eruptive movement. C. Post eruptive movement. D. Passive eruption. Answer. B. Eruptive movement. 28. Which of the following is not a function of post-eruptive movement? A. Compensation for occlusal wear. B. Maintenance of tooth position. C. Completion of root formation. D. Formation of enamel. D. Formation of enamel. 29. Passive eruption occurs. A. The tooth emerges from the bone. B. The gingival margin recedes, exposing more of the tooth. C. The root completes its development. D. The primary tooth resorbs. Answer B. The gingival margin recedes, exposing more of the tooth. 30. Which of the following is the correct eruption sequence for permanent dentition? A. First molars, central incisors, lateral incisors, canines, premolars, second molars, third molars. B. Canine, central incisors, lateral incisors, premolars, first molars, second molars, third molars. 
C. Lateral incisors, central incisors, first molars, canines, premolars, second molars, third molars. D. First molars, lateral incisors, central incisors, canines, premolars, second molars, third molars. Answer A. First molars, central incisors, lateral incisors, canines, premolars, second molars, third molars. 31. Which factor can delay the eruption of permanent teeth? A. Prolonged use of pacifiers, B. Excessive fluoride intake, C. Early loss of primary teeth, D. Hyperthyroidism. Answer Prolonged use of the pacifiers. 32. The process of shedding primary teeth to make way for permanent teeth is called um, A. Eruption, B. Exfoliation, C. Resorption, D. Calcification. Answer B. Exfoliation. Resorption of primary teeth. Resorption of primary teeth. A. Cementoblast activity. Osteoplast activity. B. Osteoclast activity. Enamel hypoplasia. D. Dentinogenesis. B. Osteoclast activity. 34. Which of the following conditions may prevent the exfoliation of a primary tooth? A. Presence of a permanent successor. B. Delayed root resorption. C. Increased saliva production. D. High fluoride intake. B. Delayed root resorption. 35. The absence of a permanent tooth under a primary tooth can lead to A. Early eruption. B. Ankylosis. C. Increased root resorption. D. Accelerated exfoliation. Answer. B. Ankylosis. And 36. The first primary teeth to exfoliate are usually A. Maxillary central incisors B. Mandibular central incisors C. Mandibular first molars D. Maxillary canines Mandibular central incisors 37. What is the significance of primary dentition? A. Guides the eruption of permanent teeth B. Assists in speech development C. Supports proper nutrition through mastication D. All of the above D. All of the above. The, the spacing between primary teeth that helps accommodate larger permanent teeth is known as A. Primate spaces, B. Leeway spaces, C. Flush terminal plane, D. Mesial step. A. Primate spaces. 39. Which occlusal relationship in primary dentition often leads to a class 1 occlusion in permanent dentition? A. Flush terminal plane, B, mesial step, C, distal step, D, deep bite. Answer, B, mesial step. A distal step in primary dentition most commonly results in which occlusion in permanent dentition? A, class 1, B, class 2, C, class 3, D, open bite. B, class 2. 41, the term flush terminal plane refers to a. The alignment of the distal surfaces of the primary second molars B. The spacing between primary anterior teeth C. The curvature of the occlusal plane D. The thickness of enamel in primary teeth Answer A. The alignment of the distal surfaces of the primary second molars 42. The arch perimeter refers to A. The total number of teeth in an arch B. The circumference of the dental arch from mesial to distal C. The width of the maxillary arch. D. The thickness of the alveolar bone. Answer B. The circumference of the dental arch from mesial to distal. 43. Which of the following describes a natal tooth? A. A tooth that erupts within the first month of life. B. A tooth present at birth. C. A supernumerary tooth. D. A retained primary tooth. B. A tooth present at birth. 44. Neonatal teeth are defined as A. Teeth that erupt within the first 30 days of life. B. Teeth that are missing in primary dentition. C. Permanent teeth that erupt early. D. Supernumerary teeth. Answer. A. Teeth that erupt within the first 30 days of life. 45. Natal and neonatal teeth most commonly appear in which region? A. Maxillary molars B. Mandibular incisors C. Maxillary premolars D. Mandibular canines 
Answer. B meant to be low in sizes. 46. Which of the following is a clinical concern regarding natal teeth? A. They interfere with permanent tooth eruption. B. They may cause difficulty in breastfeeding. C. They lead to excessive saliva production. D. They increase the risk of malocclusion. Answer. B. They may cause difficulty in breastfeeding. 47. Which factor does not contribute to the premature loss of primary teeth? A. Severe dental caries. B. Periodontal disease. C. Prolonged pacifier use. D. Early extraction due to crowding. Answer. C. Prolonged pacifier use. 48. The presence of primate spaces is important because A. It allows for proper alignment of permanent teeth. B. It prevents premature eruption of permanent teeth. C. It reduces the risk of malocclusion. D. Both A and C. Answer. D. Both A and C. 49. What is the main reason primary molars are wider mesiodistally than their successors? A. To maintain arch length. B. To prevent crowding of incisors. C. To facilitate mastication. D. To allow for future premolars. Answer. A. To maintain arch length. 50. The most significant function of leeway space is to A. Provide extra space for permanent premolars. B. Maintain proper occlusal relationships. C. Aid in mastication during mixed dentition. D. Increase the arch perimeter. Answer. A. Provide extra space for permanent premolars. How did you do on the mock exam? Share your score in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope this mock exam helped you in your review. If you want more dentistry, dental technology, and dental hygiene reviewers, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to John Ryan Magalona. See you in the next video. Keep studying and good luck on your exams.